It's Triple G. How do you think Triple G matches up with some of the old time, all time greats? Name one. Hagler. Oh, you know Hagler's my man. No, Hagler's got too much. He, he boxes on the inside and the out. And let me tell you, you see a fight like that with Hagler? Hagler wouldn't be getting hit by no jabs. Bernard Hopkins. Yeah. I think that would be a great fight when Bernard's a bit younger. He's the man. He's got a lot of experience. And, you know... Oh, this what did you think about the stoppage, uh, Lennox? You think it was an appropriate stoppage? Yeah, I thought it was appropriate stoppage because uh, Lemieux didn't really have no, uh, not, no answer for him. And uh, if it would have, if it would have gone any more, it would have been a little worse for Lemieux. People, Triple G was able to stop him with his jab all night. Kept his jab in his face. Was that a surprise to you? It wasn't a surprise. It was a surprise because you know you go into a fight, you got to stop a guy's prime weapon. Triple G's prime weapon with his jab, and it was just like, you know, you see him Lemieux's head going like this all, all, all fight since the beginning of the fight, so it wasn't going to last too well. Were you wasn't surprised by GGG's boxing abilities at all today? No, I was expecting, I was, I was expecting his boxing abilities. Uh, you know, he's a good boxer, he's very disciplined, a lot of uh, experience behind him, and, uh, you know, he did what he had to do. If you had been in Lemieux's corner, what would you have told him to do? To get him up against the ropes, throw that right hand a little more, and don't throw that left hand to the body unless you have him up against the ropes. We, last, we saw two heavyweights in there tonight, too. Did you see any uh, talent there, anybody that could rise in the division? Yeah, I seen, I seen, I seen, I seen King Kong out there today, and, um, you know, he did well. I didn't like his opponent too well. I didn't, I didn't think he should have even been in there. So, uh, you know, he needs to step it up a bit against better opponents, but what he did was great. He got rid of him. We didn't he, Like, he doesn't get paid for overtime, and, you know, uh, he did it in the right way, in the right manner. Knock him out. When Klitschko Fury does happen, how do you see that fight going? Interesting fight. Uh, two guys the same, basically the same size. We're going to have to see how Klitschko does against a guy his side. But if you ask me, Klitschko's more technically uh, better than uh, Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury doesn't have a, a good technical ability than, than uh, Klitschko. So that's what's really going to show in the fight, uh, especially uh, Klitschko's jab. If uh, Tyson Fury doesn't have an answer for Klitschko's jab, he's going to be in problem. He's going to get knocked out. So can we say Lennox is Lewis money would be on Klitschko? Absolutely. He's the champion right now. Who is Tyson Fury? Tyson Fury needs to prove himself. All these antics and stuff doesn't make him a good boxer. All it does is makes him a good showman. We want to see good boxing, and if he's great, let's see the greatness come out. Thank you. Radio Rahe with Lennox Lewis.